welcome back to my channel y'all i feel like i should rename this channel jessica's car chronicles because we meet again in my car but i'm gonna go do a little bit of shopping today i don't have anything in particular that i'm looking for and i feel like those are the best days to go shopping because that's when you find the most stuff so that's what i'm hoping for i'm just gonna go leisurely do some shopping but also i do have to run to lowe's bunky and i are actually doing a little kitchen update this weekend i am so excited about it so i've got to go get this stuff for that and of course we're gonna bring you guys along with us and show you the entire process i'm hoping we're gonna paint some furniture move some stuff around get some stuff done in our house and i'm just so stinking pumped about it so anyways i thought i'd just bring you guys along for the entire process so let's get this video going told y'all it's when you're not looking that you find good stuff i found something that i think is going to be perfect in our little like sunroom or morning room i kind of had this idea the other day of like how i want to do it exactly like it just came to me it was this clear vision and i'm so excited for it so i went in there and i was like okay i'm not gonna have any expectations and then i found something that i think is gonna be perfect so i think i'm gonna run a tj maxx obviously of course um right now really fast then i'm gonna go to lowe's and then go home and when i get home i'll show you guys what I got, but I am so excited. Okay, so this is what we're doing. We're changing out our hardware to be all black. I just gotta pick out the ones that I like. I think that's gonna make the biggest difference in our kitchen. I kinda like these. I actually love these, but I don't think they'll stand out. Okay, so these are the ones that I came in I thought that I was gonna get. But now I kind of like these. And these. So I'm just waiting for Bunky to text me back and let me know which ones he likes. I sent him pictures of all the ones that I thought would be really good. Okay, so I'm home now. I just walked in the door. I put everything out on the counter. So I'm gonna you guys around and show you what I got. I don't think I told you, but I ran into Target. I just needed to get a few things. We were out of Ziploc bags. Daisy and May needed some treats. Um, I needed some dry shampoo. So I ran into Target too. So I'm gonna show you what I got there at Hobby Lobby. And then I'm not gonna show you what we got at Lowe's because Bunky and I are gonna do that project together tomorrow. And I'm gonna keep this bad boy rolling. <laughs> we're gonna do that together. Um, I also got curtain rods. I'm gonna get Bunky to hang up some curtains tomorrow. And then I also picked up some paint because Lord willing we are gonna paint our furniture this weekend we have big plans for this weekend hopefully we can get it all done but um let me flip you around and show you what I got at Target and Hobby Lobby and then I'm gonna try and put out what I got and see how it looks if in my mind I can recreate what I see in here <laughs> out here I will be so excited because I think it's gonna be really cute so let me show you what I got Target section is so puny this is like all we got and I don't think I told you but I went to be the chicken I cannot get enough I'm obsessed but anyway we were out of our little Swiffer cloth so I picked up some of those I heard that this dry shampoo is good so I'm going to try it. I'll let you guys know what I think but um I'm almost out of mine and I hope this is good because it's only six dollars which will be awesome um so I'm gonna try that out and then Daisy May needed her little milk bone treats. She's obsessed with these. And then we were just out of the gallon size Ziploc bags. We've been out of these for like two weeks. And I keep forgetting to get them. So I finally picked them up. And then I found this in the dollar section. I had seen it before and not really known what to do with it. But now I have this great idea. So I hope it will be cute. I love the color of it. Um, so after I show you the rest of everything, I'll put this up where I think it's going to go and see how it looks. So before I show you what I got at Hobby Lobby, I want to kind of explain to you this room and explain myself before you see it. So if you guys saw my last get it all done video, you saw me decorate this little tiered tray and then I sat it in here just to get it out of our kitchen, but I was not going to leave it in here. And really I just kept thinking like the green and the blue clashed, but the more I have left this here and I walk by this room, the more I am obsessed with this green and 
and blue together. I think that it is so pretty. It looks very like coastally to me and I like that the blue is very like soft and muted and then it's almost like this very deep rich green. So the more I thought about it I was like I kind of love the thought of doing green and blue in here and then I'm going to put um white sheer curtains like kind of from the ceiling and bring them down so after i decided on that i started playing around over here obviously this and this do not go together but i just wanted to see the colors together so once i put this green wreath up here i was like oh i love it even more like the blue and the green then i was like what if i did um you guys i can't i don't i don't know oh gosh here i go again I get excited and I can't tell you. I don't know what it's called, but there's like the vases that are like blue and white and they're beautiful and have these like pretty designs. You'll see it in the picture that I got. Um, anyways, I thought like that would be beautiful, like a beautiful pattern to use in this room. So I'm going to find a vase to put here. That's the blue and white and then kind of put like lots of fake lemons here. And then I was looking for something here. I need it to be a little bit longer, but I still wanted to have that green in there. But I wanted to also match the blue and white vase that I'm going to get for right here. I hope this all makes sense. <laughs> and then with the white curtains, I just think it's going to look so refreshing and so like coastal, kind of cozy. Like you want to like even read a book here in the summertime. You guys get it. And then I'm not going to show you over there because that is a project we're doing this weekend. So with all of that said, let me show you what I got at Hobby Lobby. I found this long picture and this is what I mean by the blue and white vases. Like it comes in different patterns and stuff, um, but this is what I am envisioning to put on the bar cart. So I need to find one. They had one in Hobby Lobby, but it wasn't quite big enough. So I gotta find a different one. Um, but I absolutely love this like gold rimmed bamboo looking kind of frame on it i love the shape of it it's kind of unique i love the length of it i love that it has like the green and blue together plus the exact vase that i want to use on our bar cart like this could not be better okay there's a leopard you guys know how i feel about my leopard print there's pink like when i tell you this is me this is me i am so excited to find it and i almost was going to leave the store without it because it wasn't on sale and I was like, girl, you better use your 40% off coupon. So anyways, I got this. There are two other pictures that I saw in there that have these um, vases on them. And they're like whitewashed wood frames. I'm going back to get them to use in that room as well. But they were not on sale. So I'm waiting until next week. But y'all, I was so excited. And then I just got this little ball that I'm actually going to go put on the tear tray. So that it'll kind of go with the green that's already on there to kind of mix it up. I thought that was really pretty. It's going to go together so well. And then I found this super cute kind of like bamboo looking doodad. <laughs> I don't know what you call it, y'all. But um, I'm going to try and put it up on the shelf that's in our kitchen. So anyways, I felt like these were three really good finds. So I'm going to go ahead and start decorating that shelf. I'll show you guys what I do. And then I'm going to hang this up and see how it looks. Okay, so this is not perfect, but I absolutely love the way it's coming together i just could not look at what was there before for like one more day i feel like the menu sign you guys know it was like black and it said menu it was just so dark for this space and i needed something that was lighter and brighter and this to me is just absolutely adorable it is totally my style it kind of even has a little bit of boho in there um and i just love the way it came together this shutter is absolutely perfect like when i saw it i knew the color was so great for our kitchen because it's kind of like that minty blue that I think is just so inviting and beautiful and it kind of gives the whiteness a little bit of color. So I love this so much. And then let me show you over here as well. So I added my little blue and white ball there and I think that it's perfect. Kind of just what this little tiered tray needed. So I love this. I think that is perfect. And then over here, I had two nails in the wall already. So if I hang it on the top one, it's way too tall. If I hang it on the bottom one, it's way too low. So I'm gonna have to get Bunky to put me a nail in the middle. So ignore the fact that I know <laughs> it was way too high up in the air. Um, so anyways, I think once it's centered in the middle, it'll be perfect. Or I may go back and get another one and just hang two there. I don't know, you guys tell me what you think. But the white, not the white, the gold bamboo like rimmed frame is like the perfect color of our little bar, bar cart. Um, and then the pink flowers down here and the pink in here, I think it's just gonna be so perfect. And if I don't leave it there, once we um, 
do what's going to be over there. <laughs> I am going to have an entire blank wall. So um, I may go and just get like three of those and put them over there. We'll see. But all I know is that I'm going to keep it. It's going to be perfect in this room. So anyways, and you guys tell me I had these curtains from Ikea from like forever ago. And they're gray and white striped. Do you think that I should use those curtains in here or just get very sheer all white ones? You guys tell me in the comments what you think. But I'm just so happy. I feel like our house is finally coming together and becoming like what I love that I can just keep up all here and feel super happy and content with. All right, y'all, so it's actually a couple of days later now. Bunky and I were going to do all of these house projects over the weekend, but Saturday it ended up snowing the entire day. Nothing like stuck to the ground. The temperature was not cold enough, but it was still like so beautiful all day. And you know those days when it's like snowing out and you just feel so cozy and you just wanna like chill all day that was what Bunky and I did the entire day so anyways we did not get any of the house projects done that we wanted to and then Sunday we were filming other videos so here we are a couple of days later and I went ahead and put all of the knobs on the kitchen cabinets which I'm going to show you guys in just a second and I want to tell you why we chose to do this um we have been talking about what we can do just to kind of spruce up our house and I actually saw my friend Amy Fritz post her like kitchen um like farmhouse kitchen tour and she was talking about how they had done all of these like um kind of like remodels and projects when they moved into that house and she said it was one of the cheapest and best things she ever did and I was like oh my gosh it would make such a big difference so we decided to go ahead and change them all out I want to say it was about $65 but my mom actually told me that you can find super cute knobs on Amazon and you can get like packs of 10 or 20 and it's way less expensive and I ended up looking on there and you can do it cheaper on Amazon. I didn't take all of ours back just because I didn't want to have to deal with the hassle of it. Um, so I kept ours. It was about $65. We have 28 knobs in our kitchen. Um, so I did keep the ones that we had. I don't know what I was trying to say. Um, anyways, but you can do it off Amazon and it honestly made the biggest difference. So for a super inexpensive like kitchen update, I would say try this if you guys haven't done it to your house already. You know, our house was a new build and so they just had the normal old silver knobs they put on a lot of new builds and this kind of gave it that custom feel and I love it. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. And I will say our kitchen island is gray compared to our kitchen cabinets are white. So I was a little bit nervous if they would look good on the gray, but they ended up looking amazing. And I chose the ones I did because they have almost this like bronze finish to them. And you guys know we use a lot of like bronze and gold in our house. So I thought they would kind of play off each other really well. So anyways, so I'm going to leave you guys around and I'll show you the ones that we had first. And then I'll show you these and just the difference of how it looks like it is amazing what a little spruce can do to your kitchen. I'm just so happy the way it turned out. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting on the rest of them. And then when Bunky gets home tonight, we're gonna hang up some curtains in our living room. I may see if he'll move my furniture for me. Um, but I'm just like so excited for all of these home projects and just like decorating and freshening up everything. It feels so good and I'm so excited to bring you guys along with me. But let's go ahead and finish these knobs. This is the part that I was a little bit nervous about because you guys know our island is actually painted gray whereas the rest of our cabinets are white and so I was like I don't know if they're going to look good but I think that it's going to look really pretty. I kind of like the way it looks. I know what I just realized. I'm thinking um that's gonna stick out like a sore thumb we're gonna have to change those for sure I did not even like think about that whenever we we're doing these and we're probably gonna change out that one and that one because otherwise it's gonna look really weird so I'm probably gonna be having to go back to Lowe's and pick up some door handles so you never notice until you start doing home projects do y'all think these things look even and do you think the doors are even? I have never noticed that until just now, but it is bad. And now I'm like, oh my gosh, what do we do about this?
All right, so while I was waiting for Bunky to get home, I decided to run to Burlington. We actually just got a new one in our town, and I don't think I have been to a Burlington store in years, like probably in 10 or 15 plus years. But I decided to go in there today, and I am so glad I did. And can I tell y'all, I am obsessed. Like their prices were insane and they had some super cute stuff. So I did pick up a few things. So I wanted to show you guys what I got, but I cannot get over their prices. And like, especially like huge mirrors that were just like 25 bucks and rugs, all kinds of stuff. I was just like, a kid in a candy store it is bad like i should have never discovered this place but anyways i found a couple things that i'm obsessed with so i'm going to turn you guys around and show you what so I, I wanted to spend more time like looking at their clothes and shoes and accessories but i was running out of time but these caught my eye and i was like oh my gosh i have to have these they are so beautiful and they were 5.99 which i thought was such a good price and they're very lightweight so i don't think that they'll be too heavy when i wear them but how beautiful are these for spring and summer so i had to have those and then i found this humongous vase on clearance for 9.99 like i don't even know what i could do to like show you how big this thing is but it's massive and so i thought like to put lights in there and kind of like some greenery. I don't know, I might get my mom to actually like build me an arrangement in there, but I just thought it was so pretty. And for $9.99, I thought that was a great price. So I got that. Okay, and y'all know whenever I get excited, I can't talk. And I'm like so obsessed with these things, so bear with me. But um, I have been looking for something like this for our house. And when I saw these, I was like, they are perfect. I am obsessed. So the shorter one was $10 and the larger one was 15, which I thought was like great great price like they are pretty big kind of like statement pieces and I am just obsessed I love the distressed look they're kind of farmhousey but also kind of like coastal looking if that makes sense and then of course I'm just going to put our little like remote candles in there oh my gosh I just think they are perfect I'm obsessed so I love Burlington I will definitely be going back there Bunky is going to be like you no longer can go to that place Bunky's well, eating his birthday I lost a birthday cake Happy birthday to me. It's <laughs> birthday donut. Reheat it a little bit. And then we're gonna hang some curtains, B. Are you ready? It's actually 8.02. Mm-hmm. Cause we went to dinner with our friends tonight. Oh, oh, oh ma'am. This is, I need a plate bump. Okay, we are about to hang our curtains up here. I wanted to show you guys the curtain rods that I got. I picked these up from Lowe's and I really liked the little like crystal knob on the end. They're not like the nicest ones ever. They were only $11, but for what we need them for, I think they'll be perfect. And these are the curtains that I got. I don't know if you guys remember these. I gotten them at Target, I guess a couple of months ago. And they were like super on clearance. So, um, I mean, it's not like the most exciting curtains in the world. Like I'm not obsessed with them, but they will work and they'll look good in here. So anyways, I have two panels of them. Oh, here we go. So they're $25 and originally 37. So I think that was a good price and they're a little bit longer than the 96 inch. So anywho, Bunky is going to hang them for me. Like ladders, Bunky. <laughs> your fear of heights. <gasps> Show us your toolbox. <laughs> <laughs> Doing man stuff today. <laughs> this here is a socket wrench. Uh huh. Uh, more socket wrenches, I think. Okay. Then there's the Allen wrenches. Okay. Those are sockets. That's a monkey wrench. And those are all my bits. Thank you for giving us a tour of your toolbox. Th this is a this is a, a air pressure gauge. I don't even know why that came with this. We got some drill bits. Okay. And stuff like that. This is a drill. Okay, monkey, tell us what we're doing next. This is a tape measure. <laughs> don't stop. I'm about to drill a hole in the wall. Bunky hates drilling holes in the wall. Like it is his least favorite thing ever. Cause then there's a hole there. He does not want to hang anything on the wall because he doesn't want there to be any sort of hole.
probably a piece of PVC pipe back there. Shut up. Oh, our bathroom's like right here. Did you hit something? Oh, let me see if there's water rushing. Just kidding. We'll find out, won't we? Bunky, did you hit something? I don't know which way the pipes go. Oh, they go that way across the ceiling. Okay. I think. Oh, gosh. Now, you gotta, if you're eyeballing this. Okay. Oh, shoot. What? There might be a little bit of room at the bottom. There better not be. There's gonna be a little bit. How much? Well, there's gonna be as much as the eye hole has. And then there's gonna be, I guess I can use the top one there. Never mind, it won't be that bad. Okay. <laughs> so tell me where the, when I'm straight. You're pretty straight. We need like certainty here. No, it's like straight. It is literally straight, Bunky. Are you sure? I promise you. Got it? <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. You'll mess with it. You'll mess with it. What about the length though? Is it good? What um, that is crooked as heck. Oh hell no. Uh, it is. It is going like downward dog. <laughs> Bunky, I swear it is so crooked. But back there, I mean, when you had it before, it didn't look like it. Okay, update. Um, I do not like the curtain rod. It looks way too flimsy. It is crooked and not going to work. So I'm going to take them back and I'm going to go get really nice, good curtain rods because I feel like in the living room, like you definitely need them to look very nice. Other parts of the house, you can kind of like get away with using cheaper ones. But in here, it is like an eyesore. I love the curtains. I love like how much better they make the living room feel and look but I cannot handle how flimsy that curtain rod is and the fact that it is like so slanted. So it's too thin. Yeah. So we're going to exonate the curtain rods for tonight and I may end this video here, who knows? And then I'll just update you guys later once we get these figured out and done. Meaning like next week. <laughs> My friend came over and I got her to look at it and obviously it's leaning but she agrees that we should just get a new rod altogether and one that is a different color because it'll make the curtains kind of pop a little bit better um and obviously one that's like more sturdy i'm going to try and find either like a dark gray or like a wood colored one so we're gonna call it a night we're not gonna finish our curtains we will do it eventually so bunky thank you for trying and next time i'm gonna get the curtain rods that are expensive that i want <laughs> more expensive curtain rods. Yeah. Alright so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I will of course keep you updated as we continue to do our little home projects and show you guys what we find and how all of this ends. I promise. But thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye y'all.